Arthur Yu. I have AML. I need a bone marrow transplant. I need a congressional inquiry in order to get my donor in over to America to donate his bone marrow to me. It is a life or death situation for new dad and L.A. resident Arthur Yu. The 41-year-old has been diagnosed with an aggressive cancer called acute myeloid leukemia. His only hope is a bone marrow transplant. Arthur found an unlikely match in a distant cousin in the Philippines, but the effort to get his cousin into the U.S. is caught up in bureaucratic red tape. It's a visa issue. Arthur's story has gone viral, and now it does have the attention of Senator Alex Padilla. Arthur is here with more. Arthur, it's good to see you. Happy New Year. Thanks for being with me tonight. Happy New Year, Marla. Thanks for having me, and thanks to Fox for sharing our story. Absolutely. I know it may not be a happy uh, New Year, but we're hoping that we can change, help change your outcome. Uh, you know, we throw around that phrase, life or death. Is it truly that for you? How dire is the situation? Yeah, I, I mean... Uh, it's not a short-term life or death situation. Um, it will um, affect my, my life in the long term. Thankfully, my body has been responding well to the chemotherapy. So the chemotherapy has been containing the cancer. But the longer this goes, the more unnecessary chemotherapy I have to do. And I do not like doing unnecessary chemotherapy. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone would. Uh, now, prior to your story going viral, you, you found out that it was a visa issue that is preventing your cousin from coming here so that you can get this life-saving procedure. Senator Alex Padilla, you have now talked to him. We reached out. He sent us a statement. You were having a hard time getting in touch with him. He sent us a statement saying, unfortunately, we cannot provide specific details to protect constituent privacy, but I can confirm that our team has made a congressional inquiry and is assisting in this case. Where does your case stand now? Yeah, so um, Senator Padilla and Congressman Schiff have both flagged my case as a case of interest with the federal government, the State Department, um, though this is still not a guarantee um, and there's still no assurance that a visa will be granted. So the next step is for our appeal on January 9th, Pacific Standard Time, which is January 10th, Manila time. Uh, and I'm hoping that with Senator Padilla and Congressman Schiff's help, along with uh, loads more documentation. I hope the State Department approves our case so that my cousin can come to America and potentially cure my cancer. Uh, because it was, uh, you know, quite the search to find a match in the first place, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, Be The Match is the National Bone Marrow Registry Program. They have been extremely helpful in searching for um, a potential match. Unfortunately, there were no perfect matches for me here, and it's um, it's a U.S. registry. They they do coordinate with other countries that have registry programs, such as England and Germany, but unfortunately, Philippines does not have a registry program. So I had to pick the closest family members uh, in my family tree and test them specifically. And thank goodness a distant cousin is a match. It's just a matter of getting him here in the United States and to think it's just a visa issue. It's just, it's, we, we, got it, we got to overcome this and get you this procedure, uh, Arthur. There's no question. You're 41 year old. We can hear your baby boy in the background. He's 14 months old. You're a marathon runner. Your wife's a nurse. W what a couple you are. And going through this, what have you learned? Yeah, um, I guess in hindsight, I learned that it doesn't, it makes sense that America doesn't provide a recipe of how to pass a visa interview on the website. Um, and I've also learned that the visa interview process can be, and usually is, subjective to the interviewer. Um, in our case, for example, um, our intention was pure. We provided the materials but we still received a general rejection saying, we can't be sure that Noel won't come home. Uh, I can't imagine the frustration. Um, I thank goodness that you have Padilla, Senator Padilla in your corner, and hopefully you can break through that red tape. Uh, last word I want you to have, and that is about the importance of becoming a donor. 
Yes, yes. Please register on bethematch.org. It's the National Bone Marrow Registry. It's a simple cheek swab, which is even easier than a COVID swab, uh, and it can save someone's life, especially if you're Latino, Asian, or Black, because these are the races that are 50% likely to not find a match. Um, for example, if you're uh, a Latino, Asian, or Black person like me, um, you might have a hard time getting a match. Um, and um, if you have a donor that's in a country like an African country, Mexico, China, India, or the Philippines, you might run into the same visa problems as me. My goodness. Okay. Well, that website is bethematch.org. Uh, I'll make sure that we get that up on our website as well, foxla.com. Arthur Yu, I really appreciate you being with me tonight, okay? Um, stay in touch. We'll stay in touch with you to make sure that you get what you need. Sounds good. Thank okay. you, Marla. Okay.